What's up everyone, welcome to another video and today I'll be talking about my Amazon interview experience where I nearly got the opportunity to serve Lord my name is Jeff. himself. Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Be so just a heads up that I interviewed for the new grad position for software engineering at Amazon and I'll be breaking down my interview process and how everything went for me. Also the new grad position at Amazon is fairly easier to get compared to the other new grad positions at other fan companies and I'll explain that as we move along with the video. So just to provide a little bit of backstory so I applied for my internship at Amazon during my junior year but I did not hear back from them as I did not use a referral to apply for the position but when I was applying for new grad positions I had a friend who was working at Amazon I just DM'd them and asked them for a referral and with the referral I found out that it was much easier to move through the interview process as I heard back within the same week so my recommendation would be to use a referral to apply at Amazon so as I mentioned earlier I got a reply within the first week of applying at Amazon and the first steps that you need to take are to give the online assessments that are essential in the Amazon interview process the first OA consists of the coding assessment and the second one consists of the work style assessment and both of them are equally important if you want to move forward in the on sites so let's talk about the first way which was the coding assessment and I was given about 90 minutes to solve two problems both of the problems were relatively easier to what I had read on the internet and heard on reddit and one of them was an easy lead code style problem and the other one was a medium lead code style problem and I barely took about 70 minutes to solve both of them optimally and I submitted my solution in that time so at Amazon how things proceed are that when you're given your first OA you directly get called for your second OA which is the work style assessment and your performance on the coding assessment is not correlated to whether you will be getting your second OA or not you will get both of your OAs regardless of your performance in your online coding assessment and so I got my work style assessment on the same day as I submitted my online coding assessment how Amazon proceeds is is that they do not make a concrete decision on whether you're going to be moving to the final round until you are done with both of the online assessments and why is that because they want to consider you collectively as a person as well as a programmer so after doing my first OA after a few days I attempted the work style assessment and I really quite enjoyed the work style assessment because it was based on a simulation and you were given a lot of different scenarios and you had to make a decision as if you were in a team setting and there was some kind of responsibility on you and what I would recommend you to really do is is to brush up on the Amazon leadership principles because how Amazon Amazon really assesses you is that they want you to make the decision in the simulation based on some kind of Amazon leadership principle and now I'm not saying that there is like one correct answer because in most of the simulation situations and scenarios there were multiple MCQ answers that look correct to me and there could be multiple answers that could be correct so do not be hesitant and just go with the option that you think is going to be right and is more instinctive to your personal work style now at Amazon if you do well on the online assessments you normally get called for a three hour final round but if you do exceptionally well on both of the rounds let's say that you did the coding assessment well and you also did the work style assessment in a way that Amazon considers good then you'll be called for a 30 minute final round which is a very easy round where you just have to go over your approach that you took to solve the problems that were given to you in the online coding assessment now because I did well in both of my OAs I was expecting some kind of a final round but what happened is is that Amazon rejected me. My relationship with Jeff Bezos ended quite abruptly but surprisingly after a few weeks I got an email from Amazon saying that I was invited for a final on-site interview. Just kidding Jeff, I love you. And the funny thing was that it was a 30 minute final round and I was so happy to see that because that was kind of like the dream path to land a job at Amazon that you do well on both of your OAs and then you get a 30 minute final round which is kind of like a guaranteed job offer because you just have to explain the approach that you took in the coding assessment and there's nothing more to it, no behavioral questions and nothing more. Now my initial guess that why I initially got rejected at Amazon is that they might have put me on a waiting list because they might 
might have filled up positions way too quickly. And what really happens at Amazon is that a lot of people tend to renege their position or leave their position for a better company because of Amazon's amazing work culture. I don't even like the phrase work-life balance. So all credits to Amazon's amazing work culture that I got to interview with them for this final round. Long story short, I scheduled the final round at Amazon and the interview was as easy as I had expected it to be where I had to explain my approach to the online coding assessment. The interviewer was pretty chill and I had a good time talking to them. They went over all the locations and the work-life balance and all the culture and stuff. A week later after giving this final round, I got my job offer letter and I was officially an Amazonian. <laughs> Love you, Jeff. This was all before I got the chance to interview at Google and ditch Jeffrey Bezos for Sundar Pichai. Stunks. In summary, I would say that Amazon is comparatively easier to get compared to the other FANG, so I would like you to specially focus on it because it would create a backup for you while you're applying to other tougher companies. I would suggest that you focus a lot on the OAs, do really well on them, and after that, when you do well on both of them, you will get this 30-minute round where you'll be able to ace that interview pretty easily. Now, I have also heard of some exceptions where in this 30-minute round, the interview might ask a lead code question, a brand new question. So just be wary of that and be prepared just in case. So if you like the content in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and show some support as that keeps me motivated to make more video for you guys. And as always, see you guys in the next video.